go. What's good, YouTube? It's 5 5 On my way to the facility. Day in the life of spring practice. Hey, this here really some pain. The last half of my journey, the electricity, I don't know, it's just been bugging. Because it said it was on three bars. So, shouldn't have happened, but, oof. Let's just say this hill got me without this electricity. All right, so I wasn't able to get the rest, but I'm about to hop in here, do some dynamic pool work. Coach Brew, like the the coaching experience that he's had and the players that he's coached and what he's been able to produce out of them, like unmatchable. So really, I just got to listen and take in his advice and try and put it onto the field. What he was just saying right here, how much have you heard that already? Yeah, I've, I've heard that every day. Uh, it's still something that I'm trying to work on, you know. Um, and yeah, really just taking into account what he says. Growing up in London? Yeah. How did you play this version of football and did you know the name Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, growing up? Okay, so getting into the game of football, I've been watching like highlights on like NFL this week. It's like kind of a UK show that um, kind of breaks down the game for people back home. Um, and yeah, playing in the pool, someone kind of that was playing for a team said, come play for my local club, tried it out and really stuck with it. As for uh, knowing the name, Coach Brewster and Coach Prime. That really came with me kind of learning more about the game and seeing what Coach Prime had accomplished in his career. And then like, the more I was involved with the game, the more like you study them, the more like you kind of understand the importance that they had on the game. Did American football come easy to you or when did you really kind of hit your stride as a, as a football player? Well, just before playing American football, I played soccer. So, and I played goalie, so I feel like the hand-eye coordination kind of translated well over. Um, I was quite an athlete coming out, uh, but raw with technical ability. But I think that pass catching came naturally to me. Um, is the leap starker between you know playing American football in Europe and then coming over to America to play at Arkansas State, or leaping from Arkansas State to uh, Power Five School? Really, really, I can't determine that because I mean. We're far away from the season, so I haven't been able to evaluate any Power 5 competition yet. So I feel like it's hard to determine that. What's it like being in this culture? What's Coach Prime like as a coach? Is it, I mean, you got to be straightforward and on everything. I mean, I mean, great coach. Uh, definitely wants us to bring intensity. And yeah, I mean, we're running a fast tempo offense as well. So, I mean, they work hand in hand. What do you bring to the table on the tight end? I think uh, my passing, pass catching abilities bring a great, great set of skills, you know, to the tight end room. Uh, there's other things that I can work on, which I'll take from other teammates and take from Coach Brew. Um, but yeah, I think definitely my ability in the uh, passing game. You obviously had a great season at Arkansas State, but as you've gotten here and you're trying to work with Coach Brew, is there a lot of things you're saying, wow, <laughs> there's a lot I don't know yet about tight end? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a bit more they ask me to do. Um, and yeah, he's he's always kind of picking from players that he's coached and like little tricks here and there that I may not have known before that can really kind of open my eyes more. What's the difference between the pressure of playing keeper versus playing tight end? I mean, playing keeper, you, you let a goal and everyone won't blame the keeper. Uh, tight end, you drop a ball, you want. I mean, there's like responsibility for both. I mean, like you don't want to mess up because you're doing your one of 11, you know? You, you, you've got 10 other guys that are hoping that you make a play, that are relying on you to do your job. So, I mean, pressure's pressure. What intrigued you so much about coming to play here? Really, the coaching. I mean, I feel like it speaks for itself, what Coach Brew's been able to do with previous tight ends. He's worked with Antonio Gates, Kyle Pitts. I mean, if you start reading out the names, I mean, it's, yeah, unbeatable. Which club do you support back home? Crystal Palace, who grew up about five minutes away. What number do you want? <laughs> um, you know, I feel like <laughs> we'll see what number I get, but 
right now, my, my set, uh, eyes are set on a single digit number, which I know with Prime, you've got to really earn that. So I'm going to put in the work. How much fun has it been uh, playing with Shadur and uh, the other offensive weapons on this team? It's been great playing with Shadur. I mean, he puts the ball in the money, leaves me just easy buckets. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a great team. I feel like we're merging really well and connections building. Are there any similarities in terms of the offense and your responsibilities at Arkansas State comparing it to, to here? I think the similarities are definitely when the ball's in the air. I mean, it's my ball, go get the ball. Uh, knowing what I've done last year, I think everyone's depending on me to, when the ball's thrown, I mean, do what I do and make a play. So I wouldn't say, yeah, I'd say that's a big similarity. Thing we've talked about here is just the fast-paced practice you guys are having. Did you notice a difference from when you were at Arkansas State to here, that offense, that up-tempo pace you're running? Here? Yeah, the uh, ball's rolling here. So you got to stay on your toes. you got to have good eyes, you know, get your eyes to the signal, get the ball to the official. I mean, those habits were preached at Arkansas State as well, but the pace at which they're calling the signals and the pace at which they're snapping the ball is much faster. Tim Brewster, said he's, uh, Tim Brewster said he's Bruce Rising players. What does that mean to you? We're going to have to ask him about that one. But uh, <laughs> Coach Brew going to coach you hard. That's one thing for sure. I mean, he's going to put his everything. He's very passionate about the game, so he's going to coach hard. It's good, Louis. First tight end to get a number. Something like that. Something oh, yeah. like that. Hey, you look like you've been going through it today. Good practice? Yeah, long. Well, <laughs> yeah? He earned his number. Yeah, what's up? Mm. What's up? Mm. I got ease up in it. I was, I was too, too ahead of myself. I got like that E lag. Awesome. And it's oh, all I need it. I need it. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> all right, vlog. I just lost. I didn't put my money where my mouth was. Zico whooped my butt. So now we got Zico Eli. It's good. About to see Ralphie run. About to take it out. Well, him, huh? Ralph. Ralph is up. I don't know if Ralphie is a boy or a girl's name, but taking Ralphie out. Oh, Rafi's looking straight at me. I can see his eyes. He's looking straight at me, man. What happens if she goes loose? Nah, mid still. She's not even running, she's not tired. She needs Coach Mo's uh, programs. Rafi ain't in condition. to the bus stop because we got class right now that student athlete lifestyle.
So for anyone wondering, a few of these clips have been um, over the course of three practices through the week. Hopefully it gives you guys like a wider perspective of what I go through in a day of a spring practice. Um, but yeah, like I didn't necessarily bring my phone to everything that I would do. So I thought, hang on a second, let me just film the other days and then you kind of see, yeah, a more well-rounded view of like what I might do after practice, before practice. So yeah, I'm at the facility right now, about to go inside, get some food hopefully, I'm cold, I need to warm up. I'll see you guys. Yo, so just came in. Funnily enough, I just told these people where the indoor were. Um, what was? It looks like a lacrosse game. I've never actually watched a lacrosse game. Cool, so pull in, lacrosse game. Now they're doing some video shoots. Or photo shoots, correct me. DJ don't know what he's doing though. Is this him here? 